Hi there. Thanks for tuning into this episode. My name is Kim Louie, and I'm a real estate consultant and broker in Waterloo Region. And what I'd like to discuss briefly in this episode is the issue of multiple offers. It is something that we're seeing quite a bit these days as the inventory of homes dwindles and buyer demand either maintains the same or increases. You have a lot of activity on all the listings, which invariably leads to uh, multiple offers. Multiple offers simply means that there is more than one offer being considered by the seller at the same time. So a few things I'd like to discuss from the point of view of the buyers as well as from the point of view of the sellers. So obviously from the point of view of the seller, this is great. Uh, they get to sit down, they get to pick and choose and decide which listing, or I'm sorry, which um, offer uh, they'd like to go with. So a couple of things with that. One is... Um, there are some obligations for realtors. Realtors must notify as soon as possible uh, anybody else who has put an offer in who wasn't aware that they were in multiple offer situations. But do keep in mind, the seller, as, as is expected, reserves the right to accept an offer at any time. So while you may put an offer in as a buyer um, and have not yet been notified or just notified that there is already another offer, the seller has a right to simply go ahead and choose the first offer. There's no obligation for them to accept or look at your offer. Um, so from the seller's perspective, the real danger is that in a multiple offer situation, usually it's a result of the marketplace being uh, low with inventory, which means you have a number of buyers who have missed out on homes, put in offers previously, and sometimes they're getting a little bit desperate. So there is a difference, I must explain the difference between a firm offer and an offer that closes. A firm offer is one where there is a contract in place, where both sides have come to terms and both sides are committed. However, that doesn't mean that the deal will close. 99.9% .9 of the time it will, but the last thing you want as a seller is to go with simply the highest offer without vetting the buyers. You need a realtor who will investigate, who will check into the buyers and make sure that they are mitigating a risk. You want buyers who have the highest chance of closing. What that means is uh, a personal example, I had a listing a while ago. The sellers actually chose a uh, lower offer um, and the reason they did is because of the difference between the two buyers. Let's say the quality of the buyers. They had good reason to believe based on my investigation and questions into the buyers that the buyers had uh, the, the offer they chose which was a lower offer um, would have a much better chance and a lower risk of, of uh, not closing at, at, uh, when it came time to close. It was important to them because they had purchased another home and if there were difficulties on closing on their home it would cause severe problems for them on their purchase. So. Um, I did have to explain to the realtor they had the higher offer that they want with the other offer simply because they prefer those buyers. So do be careful as a seller in multiple offer situations. Make sure you have a realtor who does their job and um, provides you the right advice. From the buyer's perspective, not so much fun. Uh, you are basically in a silent auction. You can expect that everyone is putting their best foot forward. You are competing with a number of other offers. There is um, a law that says that they cannot, the, the details of the other offers cannot be disclosed to um, each other. And um, so basically you're taking a risk that you may pay 5000 more than the highest or lose out on the offer by $500. You really don't know. That's why my advice to my buyer clients is to not get involved in a multiple offer situation unless it is the home. And then understand that fair market value is what the market bears and you may technically, in you know, my opinion, be overpaying for the home, but if it is what you want and I've explained all the details to you, then obviously the risk is yours to take. And um, but it is a risk. So unless it's a, a home that absolutely has to be yours, I don't recommend you get involved in multiple offers. But if you do um, and you want the home, then you do have to be aggressive. Uh, you do have to understand there are risks. There will be offers that are unconditional. There, uh, they don't put in conditions on financing, no conditions on inspection, and these are very risky things to do. Most brokerages, myself included, will have the buyer um, sign a waiver saying that they've been advised on the risks with that. So if you do have any questions about it um, a little more in depth, I'm more than happy to answer any questions. Obviously, I'd love for you to choose me to be your realtor, but if you uh, have not chosen a realtor and you just have some questions, I'm more than happy to help out. All right, have a great day and take care.